Desalination is the answer to long-term water security, but it's also expensive and energy-intensive. The good news is that scientists are developing some viable solutions. The first desalination plant in Europe was built in Spain nearly a half century ago. Since then, facilities have sprung up in water-stressed regions throughout Europe. Studying how mouse brains process chemosignals will help researchers understand the general principles of how their brains form social memories and could help scientists identify what happens when these functions go wrong. Eventually this may help scientists understand what happens in people whose ability to recognize others is impaired or those who have difficulties with social interactions caused by autism. The stratosphere is the next layer up from Earth's surface. Temperatures in the stratosphere increase with altitude. A high concentration of ozone, a molecule composed of three atoms of oxygen, makes up the ozone layer of the stratosphere. This ozone absorbs some of the incoming solar radiation, shielding life on Earth from potentially harmful ultraviolet light. People have used biomass energy from living things since the earliest cavemen first made wood fires for cooking or keeping warm. 
Biomass is organic, meaning it is made of material that comes from living organisms, such as plants and animals. The most common biomass materials used for energy are plants, wood, and waste. A simple barometric altimeter includes a sealed metal chamber, a spring, and a pointer that shows altitude in meters or feet. The chamber expands as air pressure decreases and contracts as it increases, bending the spring and moving the pointer. An altimeter can be mounted on an aircraft's instrumental panel or worn on a person's wrist. The ice house structures, of which four still remain intact, are located south of Sultan Kala. These large, conically domed earthen structures would have had sheets of ice built up on the ground level over the course of the winter to provide year-round ice supplies. The patriarchal family is one run by the father or eldest male of a household. He usually decides the duties of the women and children in the family. In this role, the patriarch solves family disputes and divides the family's wealth. The patriarch is also the spiritual leader of the family because he is thought to be the closest to the spirits of the family's ancestors.
medieval mapmakers supposedly inscribed the phrase here be dragons on maps showing unknown regions of the world. Unfortunately, apart from an inscription on a globe, this claim is unfounded. Although there were no dragons, and the inscription was virtually never used, some of the purported earliest mapmakers did have to deal with real and formidable megafauna. Medieval mapmakers supposedly inscribed the phrase here be dragons on maps showing unknown regions of the world. Unfortunately, apart from an inscription on a globe, this claim is unfounded. Although there were no dragons, and the inscription was virtually never used, some of the purported earliest mapmakers did have to deal with real and formidable megafauna. The scientists found that the division of reproductive labor in ants arose when an ancient insulin signaling pathway, typically involved in maintaining nutrition and growth, became responsive to social cues. In doing so, they also uncovered deeper insights into a process underlying how the environment gets under the skin to affect behavior, physiology, and the health and well-being of other members of society. The idea of self-disseminating vaccines has floated through epidemiological circles for decades, conceived mainly as a tool for protecting the health of wildlife. But evolutionary biologists have refreshed the proposal with evidence from their own modeling and other experimental work.
No planet will have a complex form of life that popped into existence all on its own. Whatever life is like on an alien planet, it must have begun simply. But if life is to achieve any kind of complexity, the only way that complexity can accumulate is if favorable changes and innovations are retained and unfavorable ones are lost. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, the gravity of a black hole is so intense that nothing can escape it. The most sophisticated understanding of black holes developed by Stephen Hawking and his colleagues did not question this principle. Hawking and others sought to describe matter in and around black holes using quantum theory, but they continued to describe gravity using Einstein's classical theory. Over the past five years, through studies of the simplest conceivable clocks, the researchers have discovered the fundamental limits of timekeeping. They've mapped out new relationships between accuracy, information, complexity, energy and entropy, the quantity whose incessant rise in the universe is closely associated with the arrow of time. The mathematical language for talking about connections, which usually depends on networks' vertices and edges has been an invaluable way to model real-world phenomena. 
but a few decades ago, the emergence of giant data sets forced researchers to expand their toolboxes and, at the same time, gave them sprawling sandboxes to apply new mathematical insights. A crew of scientists voyaged by ship from the southern tip of Chile to the frigid Antarctic to search for clues to one of the great unknowns of climate change. They planned to crisscross a remote patch of sea near the spot where, a year earlier, another crew had injected a tank full of an inert chemical one mile below the surface. The huge influence of rich countries on paleontology could lead to a warped view of life's history, the researchers say. Researchers studying large-scale trends in paleontology using resources are keenly aware that the fossil record is biased in myriad ways, including the age and type of rock in which fossils survive. But little consideration is given to the biases of the collectors themselves. To thrive, cities must lean on nature. That means having open green spaces and interconnected waterways to prevent floods, green roofs and walls that reduce temperatures and produce food, and forests planted as green belts to oxygenate urban areas and regenerate ecosystems.
a solar fuels generation research program is focused on hydrogen production by means of reactive metal water splitting in a cyclic iron-based redox process. Iron-based oxides are explored as an intermediary reactive material to dissociate water molecules at significantly reduced thermal energies. Biodegradable polymers have been used as carriers in drug delivery systems for more than four decades. Early work used crude natural materials for particle fabrication, whereas more recent work has utilized synthetic polymers. The commercial success of these polymers has led to further research in the field aimed at bringing forward new formulation types for improved delivery of various small molecule and biologic drugs. In every cultivated language there are two great classes of words which, taken together, comprise the whole vocabulary. First, there are those words with which we become acquainted in daily conversation, which we learn that is to say, from the members of our own family and from our familiar associates, and which we should know and use even if we could not read or write. To prevent mosquito-transmitted diseases, approaches based on genetic control of insect populations are being developed. However, many of these strategies are based on highly invasive, self-propagating transgens that can rapidly spread the trait into other populations of mosquitoes.
deep brain stimulation to the superlateral branch of the medial forebrain bundle, which is linked to reward and motivation, revealed metabolic brain changes over 12 months post-implantation, making it a strong potential therapy for treatment-resistant depression, according to researchers. James Webb Space Telescope was specifically designed to observe this light, which comes from some of the oldest galaxies to take form. How did early stars and galaxies take shape? What about the cosmic material that is undetectable, known as dark matter? Is there evidence for it in the early eons of the universe? These are some of the perplexing and fascinating questions that astronomers can begin unraveling with Webb. Investigations like this one have been plodding along for 40 years, and some studies, like one following the deadly Kobe quake in 1995, have found similar correlations. But study author, a professor of geochemistry at Stockholm University, says the unpredictable subject of study makes it tough to get funding because you can in no way guarantee a result. So I'll get three years of money, but if there's no earthquake, there's no result.
research has shown that the gut microbiome is important for human physiology and health. Disturbances to the composition of the gut microbiome can be associated with chronic diseases such as gastrointestinal inflammatory disorders, neurological, cardiovascular and respiratory illnesses. Research has found we pursue more rewards when we become habituated to a higher standard of living and compare ourselves to various standards. What it takes to be happy depends on our prior expectations, but these expectations can change over time. Cold room temperature inhibited cancer growth in mice. Mice acclimatized to temperatures of 4 degrees Celsius had significantly slower tumor growth and lived nearly twice as long compared with mice in rooms of 30 degrees Celsius because they were burning more brown fat. One of the major factors influencing future home design will be the probable change in climate, with hotter summers, colder winters, and the possibility of floods. Consequently, houses will be built with better insulation and will also need ways of keeping cool in hot weather, whether that's air conditioning or more shading of windows.
the dyes and pigments available in any particular period in which a specific color photographic process was invented, manufactured and used have profound effects on the quality of color that defines most of the style and particular historical period. The problem is that increased immune vigilance has a side effect, allergies. Our speculation is that this is some kind of trade-off. In the past you needed to resist some kind of pathogen and the trade-off or sacrifice you have to make is increased responsiveness to non-pathogenic allergens.